Yeah. Scrubbing in plastics? Yeah. Um, oh. No, it was terrible. No. Not once. Yeah. Oh, my brother's just Calimera. Just observation, yeah. Um, so I thought I'd film this week because there's literally so much going on. I have a visit this morning from um, the American doctors, I think they're American, Shriners in America. It's either American or Canadian. Um, either way, not from UK or here. So I'm heading to that now. with orthopedics now which was good and, and now I'm heading to dermatology. I was meant to go this morning but hopefully the doctors are still there and there'll be some patients. So I'm back home now and as soon as I get through the door I start sneezing so I think it's my dust problem in here because some of my stuff was in storage and for example my duvet and I'm not gonna go and get that clean somewhere it's just too much hassle so as a result, I am suffering, and the weather has all of a sudden got really, really hot again. It was cooling down, like winter temperatures, like Cyprus winter temperatures, and now it's heated back up again. But yeah, today, actually, let me show you outside so you can see the nice weather we are having. Would you look at that? So while I still have battery, today was really, really good. Um, I always say that, don't I? But today was really good. We had the American doctors from Shriners and um, they're all really, really experienced and um, kind of coming towards the end of their careers now and kind of giving back and doing things like this. Like they go to Guatemala as well and they're pediatric orthopedic surgeons. And there aren't really any in Cyprus. There's only like a handful and they're all private. So this is something really good that they do here. And we saw a lot of scoliosis, a lot of um, cerebral palsy and its effects. So a lot of club foot and things like that. So it was nice to see these things for me because I haven't done pediatrics yet and it was all pediatric patients. So I was in my element. It was quite tough though, emotionally, seeing kids suffering and just not well with neurological issues and genetic issues that run in families so yeah it was it was tough to see but it was an, a learning experience so I'm thankful for that this afternoon my plan is to um, FaceTime my friend and my hubby and then I am going to try and get through this mountain of washing I need to do I need to practice my presentation for Thursday with my group I need to practice myself beforehand as well and do some stuff for my literature review. The deadline is on Thursday. So yeah, on, on Thursday, I've got the deadline for my literature review and I've got a presentation in front of some people that have come over from the UK. That's uh, it's a postpartum hemorrhage. It's on postpartum hemorrhage. So that's in a group though. So should be easier and less stress. So I need to practice that with them tonight. And yeah, it's a busy one. I did head to dermatology after... Um, after the paediatric orthopaedic thing, but the, there were no doctors there, so unfortunately I missed out. 
I'm not a fan of dermatology, but we have to learn it. So, yeah. I'm going to go and do all this stuff and probably either check in this evening or tomorrow. and I'm feeling very very rough because I woke up early this morning to go and take blood at the hospital hopefully and put some cannulas before I go down to dermatology outpatients I still sound like a man my morning man voice um, so yeah I'm going to do that and I don't know how much I'll be able to film as always because you know patient confidentiality and asking it's all a big hoo-ha so yeah what i will do is i'll try and film as much as possible i'm going to limassol as well today and then to Arateo the hospital for a meeting because my paper is due in two days for the journal so i need to get writing with my discussion and conclusion and then we'll be finished here is little madam doing what she does best causing a ruckus in the morning having a little play. She's turning into such a big cat now. So grown. My baby's all grown up. How did you Where like it? Go? So we're taking Zara for her coffee of the day because it's going to be a long night it is. and it's already been a long day. How was your day today, Simi? My day's been good, but obviously in the best company. So yes, long day, long night. What I'm on medicine right now, doing cardiology specifically, and I definitely don't want to be a cardiologist. <laughs> Why do you say that? I can't read ECGs, that's why. <laughs> That'll come in time. That'll, it will not come in time. You either have it or you don't. I don't know why she's coming up with all these these all lines, these but it's not lines. true. It's true. It's true. About you and, and cardiology. Me and what cardiology. What have you seen? What have you done? So, we saw a patient who has infected endocarditis, mm -hmm. but they're gram negative bacteria cultures, which is very strange, and that's not usual. And then we saw another lady today who had an aortic dissection, which mm -hmm. is a very big deal and very serious. So she was rushed to theatre. Lots of old people, basically. Not that I'm ageist or anything. So you, you sounds like you've seen a lot. Yes, it is. I've seen a lot. Yeah, exactly. Interesting stuff. Still don't want to do cardiology, though. Stop from Avrudis, you're a G, mate. Now home with this little miss. I think she's hungry. She's very vocal, aren't you? Look. Yes, yeah, so I need to get her some food and then head to my research meeting. It's now night time, technically. <laughs> um, it's not that late. It's about six-ish. So I'm going to head and go to my meeting. 
see you on the other side. So I'm back home now after my research meeting and I'm so happy because the professor that I'm doing the literature review with said that he's really happy with my work and I've been struggling these past um, couple of weeks like with anxiety about everything that I'm doing and um, all the work that I've got on so it was really nice to hear from him that I'd done well yeah it was just reassuring and good to know that I'm doing something right and he said that I can take from now until Friday off from doing the review, which is great. And he was like, focus on medicine, like do real medicine now, not research. So I'm gonna focus on uh, catching up with my disease list that I'm a month behind on and catching up on uh, past medicine questions, which is like my number one resource right now. So that's what my evening is going to consist of. Me and Ophi doing some studying. Isn't that right, miss? I think she agrees. My new mug. Mrs. Always Right. That's me. Hopefully hubby sees this. Oh, my hair is wild. Study vibes. Just doing some past medicine questions. Orthopedics. I finished all the surgery ones, so now I'm just catching up on the specialties that I miss. It's actually only this specialty I miss, and then I'll be done. I have 107 and I've done 22. And I'm not doing too badly. I'm not doing great, but I'm not doing too badly. It is surgery. <laughs> Ophelia Diaries. What has she found? Hey! <laughs> Mum, I'm concentrating. Little roly poly. Booty in the air. <laughs> Not a flattering angle. Oh, neither is this. Let me respect her a little and stop showing everyone her bum. <laughs> Good morning, it is Wednesday and it is a lovely sunny day. Today I have internal medicine so I'm heading to ward round now and I'm not taking bloods or anything today. Um, yesterday was quite unsuccessful. <laughs> people, the older people on the ward are so difficult to take bloods from and I know that's what I'm going to be doing a lot of in F1 so I am trying to practice but yeah, they're so difficult because their skin's not as taut and you can't feel the veins as well and everything. It's just very difficult. So I am going to the wards now, heading to the hospital. And today's plan is I'm going to try and do an on-call, hopefully. I need to see who's on. Um, our lead consultant, I might be, um, and a couple of the other residents could be. So... Yeah, it'll be good to find out and see if I can um, stick around for an encore. I need to go to the medical school because my books are overdue and I have a fine to pay. So that is today's plan. What did we do today, Omar? We did nothing. We had to put a nasogastric tube and the nurses know about it, but we found out that they put it themselves. Which wasn't good. Which wasn't good at all. And I got an iPhone X case. <laughs> so, so what are we doing now? 
We're going to see if there's anything for us to do. Where? <laughs> Pathology Ward B. Okay. Specifically. In so we're, medicine rotation. We're staying for an encore. Yeah. Cool. Hopefully it's good. Somehow it's Thursday, so it's presentation day. <sighs> yeah, I'm at the hospital now. A little bit late, um, but I don't think anyone from my group is here, so it's just me um, and the effiers, so they're all down there probably. So I'm gonna head down. The encore was a bit of a shambles yesterday, not very good. So um, yeah, hopefully today is a bit better, learn some things. I had a bit of a practice this morning. I'll probably go over it again one more time, just because I don't trust myself. Coat on, let's go. So I'm back home now, just getting some lunch. Um, it's not that nutritious at lunch, it's actually just noodles, but it's quick and it's easy. So today was an interesting day. Then. The nurses on the medical ward aren't actually that nice. I don't know if it's they're fed up of having medical students that don't speak uh, Greek, that only speak English. It could be that. It could also be just that they don't particularly like medical students and want to get on with their job and don't want to sh have to show us things. But this is how we learn. I guess we're the next generation and it saddens me a little bit when I see other medical staff treat medical students badly. Yeah, I just don't understand it, to be honest. But I attempted a nasogastric tube today, which was a first for me. And it was quite difficult because you just, until you do it, you don't know how much pressure to use, how much force to use. I watched an attempt before on a different patient that I saw and yeah, I watched an attempt before on a different patient and they struggled a lot when they were doing it. So um, I was thinking, oh gosh, my turn on a different patient. They said it would be easier, but I had the same problem. It was just quite difficult to um, get it past the esophagus into the stomach. It just kept curling up in the esophagus and the patient had a blood clot in their oropharynx. And I think we must have pushed it from their nostril, like their nasopharynx back. Okay, I need to go and sort this out. <laughs> yeah, so I think I must must have pushed it back uh, into their oropharynx. They were bleeding and it was, yeah, just a bit of a, a nightmare, really. Oh, the joys of being a cat mother and having to deal with her shenanigans. Did I just show you up my skirt then? Okay, where has she gone? I don't know. So yeah, I tried that and unfortunately didn't succeed. I tried three times, the nurse tried as well and it was just getting a bit too much for the patient so we stopped, which was unfortunate. Unfortunate that they can't be fed really, not, not so much my learning but that that patient can't have food right now. So we're going to contact the ENT department who will use a camera to do it so they'll be able to see a bit more than what we could and hopefully get it in so that patient can have um, some dinner. So now I'm practicing, like I said, and then I'll be heading off to the hospital. Hopefully I'll try and film some of the presentations so you can see me in action and my group in action. It's quite interesting, it's really interesting. It's, like, it's data on, on Cyprus's um, postpartum hemorrhage rate and how it compares with other countries. So Cyprus isn't doing too badly. <laughs> the blood hematocrits, uh, the hemoglobin concentration, it lowers the birth weight. Uh, to thank Dr. Stavos for allowing us and giving us this opportunity to present in this conference. Pinatini causing 50 to 90% of postpartum hemorrhage cases. 
and unfortunately for ladies that have a C-section, the rate was slightly higher at 6%. What was interesting as well was the, there was a simultaneous increase in the prevalence of some of the risk factors for postpartum hemorrhage, so multiple pregnancies, cesarean delivery, induction, um, but they didn't appear to explain the, the finding of the, the increased postpartum hemorrhage incidence itself. Incidence of hysterectomies in recent years. Uh, thank you very much. Off to the next lecture now. Hoping I make it. It's so dark here already. It's only like 5.30. Let's go. It's Friday. Ooh. Ophelia has been such a nightmare last night and this morning. I don't know what's got into her. And I've run out of coffee and milk. So I still feel dead. So I'm going to get one at the hospital. And then get some groceries. And... Yeah, today I'm not too sure what's happening. Hopefully something interesting, but I doubt it because it's a Friday and they seem to want us out the way on a Friday. They tell us to go to the beach and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna head to the hospital now and I'll see you there. Sending it to the Irish Union, whatever it is, <laughs> to leave the European <laughs> Union. It's a massive lens. Huh? Hey, who did they need? Massive lens for a massive human being. <laughs> what are you talking about, Alan? <laughs> 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 nah, I've had three doctors. When really good. Please and don't. Me if, it hurt. if it's a, do it at home <laughs> in your yeah, own time. Cool. And I had to explain. Heck no way. <laughs> going for some bedside, bedside teaching. <laughs> I need bedside. Bedside teaching with a consultant. Who's Christian? I don't know. Where's, the... Where's our group? It's just Omar and I. Okay. And the Effie is. Yeah. That guy, you know, you know Will speaks uh, Greek. Who, Will? He's Will. said that he speaks Greek. Yeah. 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 Do not record me in my pajamas. I am a mess. No one can see you. <laughs> so funny, we almost said to that doctor today that he looks like Drake. Drake! No! Hello, my name's Zara Tony. I am a junior doctor here. Get your name and date of birth, please. Okay, nice to meet you, Casey. So, my supervisor has asked me to come in and just have a little chat with you about uh, why you've come in today and how you're feeling. Morning, it's Saturday and I'm about to head to church, but I realised I didn't sign off yesterday. Last week was a really good week. Um, last week? This week. This week was a really good week and I'm really thankful that I got to do some new skills and practice some new things. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with this last week of, of medicine and it was great to go to a few new lectures, learn things about obs and gynae and peds, which I haven't covered off yet and do my presentation. So overall, a uh, really good week. And I managed to do 50 questions every day as well, I think, on past medicine. I'll see you next time. Not sure what the next vlog will be, but hopefully it'll be something that you guys will find interesting and um, give you a bit of insight into med school in Cyprus. Bye.